everyone, welcome back. In the introduction, you looked at some paintings on the website that were inspired by music. Today we're going to play a game where you're going to draw the sounds that you hear. So first you need some paper and something to write with. If you need to pause the video to go get some paper and something to write with, do that now. Let's start with something easy, long and short. This is a long note. This is a short note. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. When I play a long note, you are going to draw a long line. When I play a short note, you're gonna draw a dot. Now let's play a pattern of long notes and short notes. The idea is I'm gonna play a pattern of long notes and short notes, and you are going to draw what you hear. When you hear a long note, you're gonna draw a long line. When you hear a short note, you're gonna draw a dot, and let's see what pattern you come up with. Did your paper look something like this? Long, short, short. Long, short, short. Let's do another one. Remember, short notes are dots, long notes are lines. Did your paper look like this? Short, 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 long, short, short, long, short. Now let's switch it up a little bit and let's talk about the difference between loud and soft. This is soft. This is loud. When you hear a soft sound like this, you're going to draw a tiny circle. When you hear a loud sound like this, you're gonna draw a huge circle. Now I'm gonna play a pattern of loud and soft notes and draw what you hear. When you hear soft notes, little circle, loud notes, big circle. Did your paper look like this? Soft, loud, 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 soft, loud, loud. Let's do one more like that. Did your paper look like this? Loud, soft, loud, soft, loud, soft, soft. Okay, now let's make it harder. If I get louder, your circles should get bigger. If I get softer, your circles should get softer. So the softest note you hear will have the smallest circle. The loudest note you hear will have the biggest circle. Here we go.
Did yours look like this? Little circle, bigger circle, bigger circle, bigger circle, biggest circle, littler circle, littler circle, littler circle, littler circle. Okay, let's do another one like that. Here we go. Did yours look like this? Starting with the biggest circle, the loudest note. A little less loud, a little smaller circle. Smaller circle, smaller circle, smallest circle, and quietest note. A little louder, a little louder, a little bigger, and the biggest. Now let's talk about highs and lows. Now this is a little bit tricky because often when we talk about high and low in regular speech, we say, can you turn the radio up? Can you make it higher? Can you turn the radio down? Can you make it lower? And in that case, we're talking about volume. But when I talk about high and low, and this is gonna be the way it's gonna be for the whole year. When I talk about high and low, I'm always talking about high pitch, really high pitch or low pitch, like high pitch the way a mouse might talk, really squeaky, that's very, very high pitched. Low pitch the way a bear might talk, really, really low. So I'm never talking about volume. I'm always talking about pitch and register, high and low. So a high note on the violin might sound like this. Super, super high. A low note, the lowest note that I can play on the violin sounds like this. High note, low note. Okay, now when I do this, I want everyone to squeak the highest pitched voice that they can squeak. And when I do this, I want you to stop. Are you ready? I'm going to do it with you. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with a low voice. When I do this, you're going to do your lowest voice that you can possibly do with your voice. And when I do this, you're going to stop. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh. Okay, do you get it? Highs and lows? Here we go. Let's play a game with highs and lows. Let's take a new sheet of paper. And you're going to imagine that the bottom of the paper is the lowest sound, and the top of the paper is the highest sound. So I'm going to play three notes, lows and highs. They're going to be different. And if you hear a low note, draw a dot at the bottom of the page. If you hear a high note, draw a dot at the top of the page. And we'll see what you get. Here we go. Did your paper look like this? Low, high, low. Let's do another one. Remember, the highest note will be at the top of the page, the lowest note will be at the bottom of the page. Does your paper look like this? High, high, low, high, low. Okay, now I'm gonna play something continuously that either goes from low to high or high to low. And I want you to take your pencil and don't even lift it off the page. Just let it 
go, if you hear the note go high, let it go high. If you hear the note go low, let it go low. So maybe start at the middle of the page so you have room to either go up or down, depending on what you hear. If you hear it go up, take your pencil, go up. If you hear it go down, take your pencil, go down. Okay, here's the first one. Did your paper look like this? So starting low, going high, and coming low again. Okay, here's another one. Remember, don't lift your pencil off the page. Just follow the way the sound goes, up or down. Did your paper look like this? Now I'm starting high. I'm going low. And I'm going high again. OK, now we're going to try a different kind of pattern. When you hear me play this, you're going to draw an O. If you hear me pluck with my finger, you're going to draw an X. I'm going to play some with the bow, some with my finger, and see what the pattern is. OK, here we go. OK, so it'll sound something like this, or it'll look something like this. O, O, X, X. O, O, X, X. O, O, X, X. And if I was going to continue the pattern, what would be next? Yes, O, O. OK, are you ready for the ultimate challenge? Now. I'm going to combine all of the things that we just talked about. So I'm going to combine highs and lows, shorts and longs, louds and softs, and I might use my finger so you would draw an X. So remember, highs and lows are high on the page or low on the page. Louds and softs are a smaller circle or a bigger circle. Longs and shorts are a long line or a dot to go along with the short note. And plucking is with an X. So I'm going to put all of those together, see what picture you get. Does your paper look like this? I started low, so your drawing is going to start at the bottom of the page, go up, and then come down again. Then a long line to go along with the long note. A short dot going with the short note. A loud note, so a big circle. A pizzicato, a pluck, so an X. Then starting all the way high at the top of the page and coming down. And then a short note at the bottom at the lowest point of the page. Those are our listening and drawing games for today. Next time you're going to learn about the different instrument families. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs>